Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, today, I'd like to show you uh, my newest purchase. This is the Kaiser Sh Mini Sheepdog. <clears throat> As you probably know, Kaiser makes the Sheepdog, the Mini Sheepdog, and the Sheepdog XL. This is the tiny uh, guy of the group. Um, I had read that the handle is a little small. It's like three and a half inches, which is a little smaller than I prefer. Usually, I my preference is a little over four inches. Um, this is basically a three finger knife for me, but that's okay. I mean, that's the you know the purpose of it. it's a small one. The big thing is it has a two point six inch blade, which keeps me in compliance with laws that uh, are in place while I carry it concealed because. The 3.1 inch blade is very, very dangerous, the law tells us here. But anyway, enough of my complaining. Um, it's a very cool knife. Uh, I got it today. Action is excellent. <clears throat> this particular one was uh, $69, I believe, uh, at Amazon. And I will put the um, link in the description down there, down, down there, uh, link in the description. Uh, if you want to check that out, that is an affiliate link, by the way. Um, so let's go take a take a look at it. Um, the cool thing about this one is that it doesn't have a flipper. Now I don't have any anything against a flipper. Flippers are just fine, wonderful, and great. Um, so this one has uh, the little kind of oval there, um, so you can use it kind of like you know, just like like a regular thumb stub would be used. Or and check out check out the action. Oh, that's so cool! Nice and drop shutty. Or you can do the spider flicky thing. I don't know if would you call that a Kaiser flicky thing. I'm not really sure. Uh, this particular one um, has um, linen micarta handles, and it has a 2.6 inch blade, and it is 154 cm. So pretty decent blade quality. Uh, the handles are nice. You can, you know, it's funny. You can actually tell the difference uh, with the micarta because I was expecting it to be a little. Um, a slightly rougher texture than it actually was because I thought this was a canvas micarta and I'm like, boy, that's strange. It's not as um, as as rough as I figured it would be. It's because it's linen micarta. I overlooked that, but it's nice. I mean, there's uh, there's some text. There is texture on it to help you grip it pretty well. Um, you know, pretty cool. So let's take uh, some measurements so you can actually see it a little bit better. So we'll put the tape measure right about uh, yeah, right about here. We'll put that. So, as you can see, it is, uh, actually looks a little bit longer. Now, let's, let's line this right up with the line here. I'm going to line this right up here. So, as you can see, uh, yeah, it's about 2.6 inches, maybe a couple of hundredths over. And uh, as you can tell, the handle is just about 3.6 inches or so. As far as blade thickness, it's a little bit over an inch wide. Yeah, about a little over an inch and a quarter wide, and uh, the the stock, the other blade stock, is 0 0.12 inches. My caliper is on the uh, on the fritz. Another nice thing I like here is how your finger kind of locks in right there. That's really cool. And uh, then you have jimping here. So if you're going to try and make like a push cut, you have some jimping here, um, which is nice. It's not super aggressive jimping, um, but it's good. Uh, if, I wouldn't have complained if they made a, you know, a few, maybe, you know, a little quarter of an inch or a half an inch. So if you're, if you're making a push cut like this, this should be more than enough to lock into because you figure your fingers up here. So your knuckles really here, and that's really where you need the, uh, the traction. So that's fine. Although again, I wouldn't have complained if they put it up maybe another quarter of an inch. I would have liked that a lot. Other cool thing is if you're looking at, uh, the back of the knife, you'll notice that it has kind of a palm swell here which is nice, but it's particularly particularly nice because when your finger's locked in over here, it kind of just pushes your thumb into this location. So, you know, your thumb, the knuckle on your thumb kind of sinks right in here, and then you have the jimping. So it really is really ergonomic for, for making some kind of push cuts or if you're, you know, you're slicing something. So that's pretty cool. Uh, and again, when my finger is in here, uh, we have enough for three fingers very, very easily. Fourth finger, yeah, he's kind of lonely here. He's, uh, you know, he can kind of stay or go. So, you know, not too much room for him. But I am not going to criticize that because this is a small knife. I mean, it's the mini. Now, I know some people would criticize that and say, well, the knife is too small. 
Well, that's not the knife's fault. That's like buying a compact car and complaining you can't put six of your big fat friends in it. It's a compact car. Well, same thing with a compact knife. For what it is, I think that the ergonomics are excellent. And as far as just getting three fingers on it, I think that's fine. I mean, I can I can crowd and well, actually, if I if I fold my hands like this, you kind of you kind of over with the memory. But you know what? Three fingers. The the index locks in well. The thumb locks in well. No complaints from this guy. Um, for you lanyard fans, there is no lanyard hole here, but. I guess you could kind of put something right around there if you want on that uh, on that backstop. Let's let's see. Well, let's see there. Nah, you might be able to, but kind of iffy with the blade there. But pretty cool. Um, centering um, is very close to center. It seems a tiny bit to the left to me. I don't know if you can if you can see that or not, but. Uh, it does look slightly to the left, but uh, no big deal. It's not like it's rubbing against the scales or anything. And by the way, the scales are stainless steel. It's a stainless steel. Um, um, it's a stainless steel liner lock. Uh, the clip, pretty strong, and it's got that little bit of a ramp there. I noticed that um, that getting into the pocket requires a tiny bit of effort, but uh, I, I think that uh, only part of that is due to the design. Um, the rest of it is just, it's kind of new. Now, with that said, I actually, you know, it would be quicker to get into the pocket if this came up more. But then we have another problem. And the problem is, I will call it the Civivi Altus problem. If this came up more and made it easier to get on the pocket, then this thing would be sticking up all the time. And uh, I don't like that. My Civivi Altus, it's like the only thing I don't like about the Altus as I've used it more and more. Um, the clip kind of pokes up a lot. So there have been times where like, you know, I brushed up against it or, uh, you know, for one reason or another, and it kind of like sticks in you. Not kind of a sharp, like kind of like a blunt object, like sticking in you. It's a little uncomfortable. So I'd actually rather, um, basically it, I would rather have, uh, some, uh, a knife that takes a second or two to stick on my pocket than a second or under in the case of the Altus, but kind of has this piece of metal kind of shooting out the side. So I actually would kind of prefer this one. Um, it's a small clip, but it looks like it's, you know, more than enough to hold it in place. It's not deep carry, uh, but on the bright side, um, like I said, it, it's a small knife. So having that little, maybe, maybe quarter to a third of an inch, uh, behind this clip over here is actually pretty good for helping to, to pull it out of the pocket. So you have a trade off there, but you know, it's, it's a little more there, so it's not bad. And uh, like I said, it's it's super flicky. Now I just got this today. So this is not a review by any means because I haven't really only used it today and I only used it for a few hours while I was out. Um, I will tell you that, that uh, the action was pretty good right out of the box and uh, it's gotten better. Um, sometimes my, my flicking is up to about almost 100% now, whereas before, it wasn't it wasn't quite up to 100 percent, but uh, yeah, it's 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 really nice. Like I said, that action's pretty good. This runs on ball bearings, and it is very very noticeable that it runs on ball bearings. Uh, the only really negative thing that I'm going to tell you is that after getting this, uh, I immediately went online looking at the uh, the, <laughs> the Sheepdog XLs because I'm like. Wow, this is fantastic. I really like this because I've had a, uh, I've really liked the cleaver blades for a while, but I haven't bought any. And one of the reasons I was thinking, well, if I want to like kind of like poke into something and you, know, you have a little bit of a point, but not much of a point. And by the way, this is not, um, I believe this is a flat grind, this blade. Um, I believe it's a flat grind and uh, it's not, it's not uh, sharp in here. We just have that one edge. Here, which is yeah, pretty good. It's pretty pretty decent belly on this on this knife actually. So, um, so I was actually looking at uh, the XLs, and you know the XLs aren't too much more than this. They're only thirty dollars if you just get uh, the G10 or some micarta. And then I noticed that they have um, they have some that are in uh, twenty CV. I saw this this other one that's coming 
that's going to be released soon, and it's 20 CV steel with a titanium handle. I'm like, crap, that's nice. Of course, we have to see what the price is, because a lot of times I think things are nice. Until I see the price, I'm like, yeah, it's not that nice, but we'll see. Um, if not, I would be totally, totally happy and satisfied just buying a regular run-of-the-mill with 154 CM and my Carter handles for $99 because I like my Carter. I like uh, 154 CM, and I like cool knives that are under $100. And, you know, $99, it barely fits the bill, but it does fit the bill. So uh, if you don't mind the smaller handle, I think it's a, it's a pretty nice knife. I think you'd probably, uh, probably enjoy carrying it. Uh, if you have blade length limits, um, I think this is this is a very, very good option for you. And like I said, it just really does lock in. And I'm thinking it's going to be a good EDC blade. Uh, we'll see how that goes. But for most of what I need to do, this is really more than enough. It's not a big deal. And like I said, the handle, the handle is small, but, um, you know, if you look at the size, it, it's a pretty... I mean, it's pretty decent. Well, I, actually, no, I'm just looking. It's also the uh, the stain, the liners are skeletonized also. And uh, another thing I was surprised about is this only weighs about two and a half ounces. So if you're if you're one of the people who subscribe to the whole, uh, you need like, you know, an ounce per uh, inch of blade length school. This was like 2.5 something ounces um, I saw in the stats. And it's a 2.6 inch blade, so it's slightly beating that ratio. So as far as weight goes, you're not going to realize you're even carrying it. It's extremely light. And um, like I said, you can get you can get three fingers on pretty easily. Because I, I think I have my hands are above average. Um, you know, they're above average. And like I said, I get three, three fingers on with no problem. And a little bit pinky, teeny tiny bit. So... I mean that's good enough for me. I don't need more than more than uh, three fingers. It's not like I'm going to be you know skinning large game or something. You know what I mean? I mean let's face it. Most of my life is opening mail and packages and things like that. So this more than fits the bill. And uh, the other cool thing is um, this is also super fidgety. It's it's if that's your thing, you don't need a fidget spinner with this. So if you're the kind of person who likes fidget spinners. I have a coworker who always has a fidget spinner, and I told him, I said, you know, I said, if you get into knife collecting and you buy the right knives, you don't need a fidget spinner. You just kind of, you get a fidget flipper, you know, although this doesn't have the flipper, but you get the idea. I don't need to explain to you. Now, just to remind you, if you are interested in this knife, there is the affiliate link at the in the description that you can check out. Uh, if you are not subscribed, because a lot of you aren't, I'd appreciate a subscription, and if you like this first impression of the Kaiser mini sheepdog. I would appreciate uh, a like and uh, I will see you next time.